Hello everyone, uh, this is Vertigo, uh, bringing you a live commentary video of Chivalry Medieval Warfare. September 9th, 2013. This is where it all began, and honestly, I cannot believe that we're here. I'm not the kind of person that really makes a big deal out of milestones like this, but this is a very special occasion. It's something that I never dreamed of accomplishing on YouTube. Um, never expected it, and honestly, it's still overwhelming to think that there is a hundred thousand people that enjoyed one of my videos or multiple of my videos enough to subscribe to my channel, and that blows my mind. So just let me take this moment to thank you guys. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for commenting on my videos, thank you for liking my videos, and just thank you for overall being some of the best subscribers on YouTube. I love you guys, even the ones that hate me. I love you guys too. Well, not as much as the people I actually, you know, that like me, but I like you guys too. Now, although my YouTube career started in a game called Chivalry Medieval Warfare, it wasn't until I ran into a little game you might know by the name of Rust. What do you hear? What do you say? This is Vertigo bringing you another live commentary video, and we are in Rust. That's right, um, I got this game just yesterday. Yes, Rust. We knew this was coming. This is the game that changed everything, but at first it really didn't, and I didn't really expect it to. I, I just came off the game called The Forest, and I really enjoyed the survival elements, but it was a really buggy game. So, when this new Rust came out, just from Legacy to the new Rust, um, I thought I'd give it a try, because I never played the Legacy Rust, I was never really interested. Um, but when I jumped into this game, I absolutely fell in love with it. I just saw it as a massive sandbox for me to just do some crazy things because I usually get myself in really crazy situations to begin with and this game was just so mental it was just so it was it was it's, it's crazy it was a freaking crazy game and it still is a crazy game so I just saw it as a great great game for me to play and for me to make content with and at first no, no one really watched it I mean I had a couple hundred people watch it, and that for me was great. Just imagine 200 people, 200 people watching my videos, holy shit! And this went on for some time. I just, you know, upload a video, a couple hundred people watch it, it would give me a motivation to do another, and another, and another. And this went on for a couple of weeks, until I made a video called Poor Choice of Words. And that was the day that I hit 1,000 subscribers. And one single event in that video changed everything hey, about my buddy. channel. Hey now. Hey now, you don't have to shoot me. I've got nothing on me. Yes. Alright, answer. Off. Fuck off, huh? Okay then. Fuck off, eh? Alright. Oh. Yeah. Now you fuck off. That is the moment I think a lot of Rust people took notice of my channel. They started watching regular, and from here on out, my channel just progressively got larger and larger, and it got to the point where maybe this might turn into a little bit more than a hobby. And when I logged in the next day after this video, I noticed that someone had built beside me and put a massive noob army sign on their house. And when I saw that, I thought to myself, wow, maybe there are noobs out there that are going to join this army that I've created, this fantasy army that I created. Maybe this could be a thing. And the army grew so big, so fast, that I ended up making a compound. The Noob Army Compound, the very first one on Rustral Asia. Here's a picture of it. Uh, this is the very first compound, and I completely underestimated just how many of you guys would want to play with me because the compound ended up being a lot smaller than it, it should have been. As you can see around the compound, there's just houses everywhere. Totally unexpected.
Before I knew it, there was 20,000 of you guys. Then I'd wake up a couple weeks later and there'd be 30, 40,000 of you guys. Then a 50,000 of you guys. It just got crazy. Then all of a sudden, I went over 10 million views. I had people creating whole servers dedicated to the noob army, especially for the noob army. It just happened so fast. And I really wasn't expecting it, and I didn't know how to adjust to it. I was always the kind of person that liked to build by myself, and tell a story by myself. And in the span of a couple of months, I went from being a total noob at the game, with only a couple of hundred hours in the game, all of a sudden, I'm one of the most well-known people in the game. And that made it really, really hard for me to produce the content I felt you guys deserved. And, um, you know, it was really hard for me just to play the game, let alone record and give you guys great content. But I tried nonetheless, and I felt like it affected my gameplay a little bit. I started trying a little bit too hard, and I started doing things I usually wouldn't do, like killing people when they didn't deserve it, or stealing when I usually wouldn't. Um, and I, th I felt like after a while I was starting to change, and that I resented most of all. So at episode 30, I decided to really call myself out on this. And that was the episode where I decided to jump off the lighthouse. And although it's just a game, we know this, and I obviously didn't kill myself in the game, I felt like it was me just letting go of those things that were holding me back and those things that I felt were affecting me. And I just wanted to go back to what I loved most, and that was the roots of the game, and going back to what you guys loved most. And from then on, I never really looked back. And you guys really supported me through all that. And I think from then, we've, I've grown my channel in a different way. I've sort of embraced other games and other content and other styles of videos in order to break up the monotony so I can continue to give you guys the best kind of videos I possibly can. And you guys have been great throughout the whole thing. And for that, I am truly grateful and I will never forget. And hopefully, I can continue to produce the content that keeps you guys coming back and keeps you guys entertained. Because after all, that is what's most important to me. So once again, I thank 100,000 of you. It's crazy to even say it out loud. But I want to thank every single one of you for being great and joining me through this whole whole experience. And hopefully I can continue to do it and you guys can continue to be here. And hopefully in a couple of years time you guys can say, hey, hey Brendan or Vertigo, whatever you want to call me. We've been here since a thousand subscribers, two thousand subscribers, fifty thousand subscribers. I hope you guys stick around for that whole journey. And I think we've got a long way to go, and there's a lot of crazy things and crazy situations I'm sure I'm going to get myself in, and you guys are going to be there throughout the whole thing. But until then, this has been Vertigo, and may the Force be with you always.